my god, oh my god. I don't, I don't know, man. Man, this is love Jacob we're talking about here. Eh? <laughs> like, like, do you think like... But they're both like the bowling. Let's see, man, you think click and bail or bowling? You do love chicken. <laughs> uh, man, they're too classic, those two. And, uh, you know, bad man. Man, when you go in their apartment, what they're saying to you, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna <laughs> oh my god, and Elizabeth. That bad man is basically, that's pr basically Prince Atal, Joe. He's the Drew Elizabeth. Al is it Elizabeth? Yeah, she's crazy. Oh, yeah, she's crazy as well. <laughs> I don't know. We have to break it to see, get the coke off her. That, that's my favorite missions, man, let's say. They also. Yeah. Remember that guy who acts like he's a gangster? Like, he goes on the videos, he says, oh, look, I'm cleaning up the streets. Yeah, um, bro, like. Also, do you know think V, man, like, that has no classic memories whatsoever. Yeah, the missions are kind of like, you know, newer generation, like that, like the old No, but they're so easy though, because the thing is, they have a skip button. What the hell is that all about, man? When I saw that first time, I was like, what the hell? Like, I don't know, V is not classic. Now like, you know, now you know, like, Rockstar know that children are going to play this game, man. That's what I'm saying, like, San Andreas was the best grant of the whole game. Like, that's what I'm saying, GTA 3 and San Andreas was my number one. Why say for me as well, why say? The thing is, I never played Vice City. No, not stories of Vice City. No, this is the thing. I never played Vice City too much. It's because maybe I didn't play it too much because I played GTA 3 and I jumped to San Andreas and then and then I went to Liberty City Stories and then I went to Vice City Stories and then I went to China and then it kept going. Hold on, someone, someone, someone's ringing me. The hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Quickly, man. Also, the thing is, man, like, V is just not classic. I think it's good, like, exploring the city and all that, but it's not bears in San Andreas. Wait, where do you think? I think the next one has to go back to Liberty City, man. No, I think it'll go to Vice City, because they're not remastered Vice City yet. Yeah, 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 so yeah, you will yeah, love that a lot. The oh, thing is. Apparently, they're gonna do the new one, the new one where you can go to all the cities. That'll be sick, man. I would definitely just chill in San Andreas, man. Like lost, lost from Juras. Nah, I'll be, I'll be, in, I'll be in Vice City, man. I'll be. No, but here's the thing, Miami. though. Like, do you know in V, by the way, why is there no lost from Juras? Like, where's Las Vegas gone? Like, I like Las Vegas. No, they took that out. They, they were better for them, but they took it. So, but here's the thing. That's just one highlight of San Andreas was Vegas. Going yeah. to the casinos uh, and all that. What the hell are we doing? When are we gonna start this off-topic video? Bro? We are starting it right now, man. Exactly. Oh, shit. exactly, man. Why are you wearing skinny jeans? Why are you wearing skinny jeans? Skinny trousers. This record label came up to me and said they want to be part of Young Money Records, and I said yes. Oh god, he's sold out, man. Young Money. Right, let's talk about thingy. Eh? Let's tell people why, you know, we're not the slash of Sunday was not uploaded, and why the outlaws that said they're not being uploaded. Uh, he, he's a thing, we need, man. We need, to, we need to tell them, man. <sighs> Basically, right, I'll tell you this, right? I think they already know because we're talking about shit on these. Stop with the Tito hand rope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm done. Basically, right, this game has been here for three years now. We've already had our fun with this game. And we can't make anything else. It was else. good in his time. It was good in his prime. Basically, we did everything, everything off camera, man. Exactly. I know, and then the things we did get on camera is... It was good as it's well. It's like us repeating, it's like repeating what yeah. we did before. Basically. So we were kind of too late, man. I know, exactly. And we don't want to feel like repeating it again and again and again. Like, and like you know, like we used to play survival heavy and everything. Like we already did that, something. We'd been there and done that. Like we did and the we had some like classic, classic um, online memories, theme for memories. If it's Uber and all that, but he's the Uber is not here with us today. It's just not the same. But I think we could continue with Slasher, but I don't know with Outlaws. Like right now, it's kind of man, like, you know. Boring to do outlaws. Have we done, how many episodes have we done of Slasher? Like five episodes? No, I mean uh, outlaws. Five episodes. Yeah, five episodes. It's, it's quite a lot, man. And they're all no, thirty. Exactly right. Yeah, because we did thirty minutes. They're all thirty minutes each, pretty much. Yeah. And Slasher, man, we can still go on with that. I think we can still go on with it. It's because we're not getting any good footage. We're just getting loading screens. Yeah, no, you guys don't know what we do. Exactly. On the videos, it looks all fun. It's not like that. If the game was like that, we would play all the time. Yeah. Why, in, trolls as well. why in the clothes shop? Why you got red mafia suit on? I'm Shogunite. Did for him at the same time, I'm kind of suspect of it. No, yeah, just like the GTA V driving, he's suspect of the movie like that. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way I feel about it. But the thing is, man, the movie... Wait, I just wait. Like, 
I'm scared that I might like ruin his reputation. Stuff. Yeah, basically, yeah, because he already has like a really good reputation. People view him really like highly. So I don't want him to like you know people think differently about highly, him. Highly, man. Most people think he's the greatest man. You know. Yeah, he's a legend. But the thing is, man. I don't know. Like the, well, I don't. I don't want to ruin his show. reputation. Let's let's talk about some of the memories we had in IV, man. Why not? Bruh, you get the story then. The <laughs> yeah, tell him what happened. Alright, so you saw in his recent IV video, he found the, the truck, the, we call it the mango truck, for specific reasons. Yeah, specific reasons. Basically, I found one myself and I was chasing him, he had his own, and he, he stopped it. He, he, actually, I was losing him, then he stopped it, he parked his truck, I thought he was still in his truck. Yeah, I put him power and park. he behind it, he had an RPG, he blew me up, my truck flew over his. That's why it's called the untouched. Language. Exactly. I wish I'd like put like a, a grey filter on him and put the sad music on <laughs> and see the slow motion sees a truck just flying right over oh, my man, if you got that man, if you got that though. Legendary. Ten million hits. Ten million yeah, man. Who's put up who's put up you know, who's he? Exactly, like, uh, we're we're bigger than him. Oh yeah, remember we were gonna play some games with them, aren't we? Yeah, but we thought he wasn't in our league, man. Yeah, he's not in our league, but God, we're we're way bigger than that. We a whole different league. Exactly. Yeah. Also, what? Ha oh, that, I remember playing for the first time. You trolled me with those bombs. Oh my god! Yeah, man, that's because I was bored, man. Yeah, here's we the were, thing. Like, stuck he, in the you told me there's those gangs online that come after you, and then he's like throwing these bombs everywhere. And he's like, I think the gangs are like throwing the bombs. And it wasn't yeah, even like that. I remember, I remember I threw them through the you know the hole of the roof. Yeah. And then you were in there. You're like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, I didn't know what was going wrong. You just throwing them at the car and all that, and, and I was like, "Do you know what? I actually searched that up online and nothing came up." I was like, "What the heck is going on? Is the game can't be done, redone again? Like we can't remake that ma mango truck incident? Because then you'll know, like you won't get that same exact like a reaction that you got. You're like screaming, you're like, yeah, get my one, okay, get my Mercedes car." That wasn't even mine. I don't drive these cars. Man, these they're cars. They're money. Look at it, it's a two pack car, okay? The two pack of Machiavelli! Machiavelli the dome! Did you buy some of the Machiavelli mixtapes back in the day? Uh, I lost them. Yeah, you, yeah, you lost Someone them. Someone stole them from me. I, I the kept The cyborg ninja. <laughs> yeah, I want them. Now! He took them, I swear to god he stole them, man. He came in the apartment one day and he took them. The thing is, man, I kept my Machiavelli mixtapes. Cause uh, I... Now you're trying to say, oh... He's trying to say, oh, I don't have them. I'm like, I, I know you have them. Like, of course he has them. He has everything. He's probably in the mango club listening to them. The mango club is popping tonight. And you can't even push someone like this. I'm going swimming. Come here. All right, man, let's grow. Well, oh, I, I like you. You look you like a shark. Watch it, watch it. God up this coming. Mm. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no! Man, you had to fit the bombs there, didn't you? You die with me. Watch it, watch it. God up this coming. <laughs> is that actually going? Oh, is it like San Andreas when you hit the um, the gas tank, it blows up? I'm gonna see it. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember that one mission we have to like aim? Oh man, that's, that's not like that. It's not classic like San Andreas. Do you know the bazooka and the IV? Do you know when you like shoot it up in the air, it's, like, it like blows up like properly? Yeah, exactly. Like, and the thing is, the V one doesn't do that. Uh, do you know the noise that it makes like when it comes? You know it's coming and you like shoot it. It's like, that's what you hear. Yeah. The thing is, it, I you know the the oh, mango dog was chasing you. Exactly, <laughs> man. The thing, the pro, the the bazookas were done better in v IV. That's why I was very surprised. Like, yeah, in, I think in, a lot of things have gone unrealistic in that game. The thing is, like in IV, like you had to aim it properly because if you didn't, uh, it wouldn't hit the person. You know what I mean? That's why it was a lot harder. Like nowadays, it's Probably. so e nowadays it's so easy just to hit someone with a bazooka. Bazooka. Watch it! Watch it! God, God up! It's coming. coming. Imagine you. Why did he not make his own album? Like he did in Germany. Why did he not make a death row one? You know. Like I, I was just playing San Andreas right there on my PS4, and that's just sick game. It is like I never get sick of that game. Welcome to San Andreas. 
Like it's all these kids, game. all these kids nowadays, like they're like classic Mario yeah, BB. Like that's not classic. Yeah, that, uh, that's unthinkable, man. Exactly, and then their classic memories would be like listening to a Lil Wayne album. Oh, remember that, that Lil Wayne album came out? No. Oh, a little rub the Carter. Exa exactly, man. Okay, we, our memories are the Machiavelli yeah, we album. Have, we have like all eyes on me and everything. The Machiavelli album, the Two Pack Lives Now album. Like, we have all that stuff. Like, they can stick to the Lil Wayne stuff. Little Wayne. Watch it, watch it. God of Peace coming. Coming for you. Good night, good night. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Man, he's thinking the IV was just like. Do you think V looks kind of cartoony? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, when you say the driving is suspect, you know that's actually realistic driving. Yeah, yeah, it's realistic driving. Like the uh, the V one is not realistic. I still, I still like how to. Do, I still like be a really good driver in that game. Like, I I used to suck at the driving. I always sucked at the driving. No, like a majority of people struggled in that game. I still like drive without scratching the car. Yeah, no, that's how I was, like you drive most of the time. I like driving these games. And... But here's the thing, V. I don't know. It wasn't the same. Like it's easier to drive, but at the same time, it's not like. It's like arcade. Oh, Welcome to San Andreas. I'm CJ from Grove Street. Land to the hangers. Gang bangs and go heat. Hashtag the struggles continue. Hashtag the struggles Motolo continue. Shadow. For the quality killer. Motolo. Of real stuff and it's actually true. Like about. Yeah, but you know, Tupac's voice, man, it just like takes over the uh, whole song, man. I know, but here's the thing. I actually like this to Biggie Smalls. Like, I like quite, I like his first two albums. <laughs> <laughs> he only had two albums, but I like his albums too. Yeah. Obviously, you know, if you hang out with Poppy, you're not gonna get a lot done, are you? But the thing is, man, the, I like Biggie, but I don't like. Puffy, I uh, like the thing. That's, I don't like him. That's the only person I don't like. Okay, because the thing is, Man, no Tupac would have been cool with with Biggie, but it's just Puffy that got in the mix. Puffy. Exactly, like Lil Kim and all that. Do you know Tupac was like? What do you think Suge Knight would be right now? What do you think he'd be? I think he would still be managing Death Row. That's what I think. Really, man? Even this long? Yeah, I think so. If Tupac was still alive. Do you think they'd be friends, those two? I don't think so. I think it would be some disagreement going on because there, there was some disagreements when he was alive about leaving Death Row. And but do you think it'd be like a Dr. Dre Shugnay relationship, or do you think they'd be cool but they wouldn't be hanging out anymore? But you know, Tupac man, when he when he, do, when he doesn't like someone, he goes all out on them, like Biggie Smalls and like, because he was friends with Biggie, but he went all out on him, even though he still liked them. Yeah, because he was loyal. But he went all out on him, so I think it'll be just like that. You know what I mean? And he was gonna start his own record label company and everything, you know, so, yeah. Machiavelli Records! Machiavelli Records! What nation dun 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 How did that whole bail thing work with him? Did he have to go back to jail in like a certain time or was he just free then when he got bailed out? I think he was free when he was bailed out. Yeah, he was free. You sure? I, I think he had something going on, I don't know, man. No, I think, I think, I think he had a parole on him, I think. That's what I think. Yeah, what the hell, man? What's that? Like, come on, man. Like, Cause I think uh, you know the Orlando Anderson beating like I don't think it would have like nothing. You think would've he would have? You think he would have gone to jail for that? Eh? No, he wouldn't have because the only and Shug Knight wouldn't have gone to jail either. The only reason he went to jail was because um, of the the shooting. Because you have to analyze the shooting and see like what happened and what went wrong and it, and then. But here's the thing: they wouldn't really care about that. They really wouldn't care about it because it, Orlando. Yeah, the thing wouldn't not happen. He should not went to Vegas. Too, huh? That should have been avoided. But the thing is, Orlando Anderson, right? He wouldn't have made a big fuss about it. It's only a big fuss made of is because of the shooting, and he had to analyze the footage and see what what ha happened and all that. And he saw like Sh Sugar Knight getting his big boot out and saying ah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he went a bit too crazy. <laughs> exactly, man. That's what happened basically, because Orlando Anderson wasn't really like he was just gonna retaliate himself. Like he wasn't gonna get the cops involved and all that. Uh, Orlando Anderson was stuck in it. was definitely him, man. Johnny even admitted it in 1996. Like people don't know that. Like there's some footage of him. Yeah, but he he did it his own way though. He didn't need the cops to get involved. Uh, but he admitted it anyway, like he actually admitted it on camera, so people don't know that, but he actually did. So that just proves it. Yeah, but do you know what happened the next day? Do you know what happened the next day? What? Like, freaking like 10 Crips died. Yeah, like the whole war went on. Everything. I don't know, I don't know. 
But do, do you know why he was sad in that? Do you know his last picture? Do you know why he was sad in that picture? Because yeah, he, because he, he, he knew he messed up there. He knew it. The thing is, that was the thing. And then he, you know, then he saw who was sitting next to him. Baby and Sugar Knight. No, he knew what was gonna happen. Like, cause that was a gang member. Dude, you can't. Like, you know, he knew you can't go away from that now. Cause like that will, they'll go for him for the rest of his life now. Yeah, I know, man. That's the thing. Like, even if he survived that night, even if he didn't get shot that night, they would still. They would every single day. They'd be like laying outside the house and things like that. But still, I would have liked him to be alive. You know. The thing is, they wouldn't be like on his back so much because they did like. You know, I mean, they did kind of get his, their payback. Yeah, what the hell? Why did they have to kill him? All he did was get beating. <laughs> and I did most of it. Exactly. <laughs> I know, man. That's just sad. They just wanted to, like, kill someone, like, because they were jealous of his success. And then, you know. I don't think Biggie was, like, involved in that. Trust me, Biggie wasn't involved. I don't know, man. Because, like, you know one of those crypts, he was hanging out with Biggie, man. Do you know what? Do you know what I think? Do you know why he was hanging out with Biggie? Okay, I'll tell you my CD, okay? This is my CD. Alright, do you know how they did the whole thing, like how Puffy paid them a million pounds, right? Yeah. And then after the whole killing and all that, basically they went back to Puffy and Puffy didn't pay them. So then what my thing is, do you know how the party night night that Biggie died? Yeah. Yeah, they, those, those crips, exact same crips went to Puffy that night and told them for the money and they didn't puffy didn't give them the money so after the party they went after biggie and you shot him that's what i think no 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 because why would they there then they wouldn't be all happy you know that if you didn't get paid why would you be happy if you didn't no, get paid they thought they still gave it you know who did that man you know that guy pitchy or something doesn't he? Yeah, I know he did it, but don't you, don't you think that... That guy that, did it, man. But don't you think like that kind of theory works out as well? Because the thing is... Um, you know, they, they, like, do, you they know do you know who... No, because the guy was working with Suge Knight, man. I'm telling you. He's, yeah, I know he's working with Suge Knight, but the thing is, though... Um, but I don't don't think don't, don't, but, uh, but I, I, I don't think, like... Oh, I, this, is what, this is what would happen, right? It wasn't them, but you know if Biggie didn't die that night? Yeah. They would have gone after him, then. Who the Crips? No, they would have gone after Biggie. The Crips would have gone after Biggie. Hmm, maybe, but I think they win. Oh, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? He went, do you know the nightclub went to Puffy asked for his money, and Puffy said, "I'll get it to you at a later date." Yeah. That's they, he didn't say, "I'm not gonna give you the money." He's obviously not gonna say that. either. Like, see that. Well, I, I know I definitely know Suge Knight put the hit on. You uh, know, there's too many like there's too many holes, man. Like you know, back then, man, like. There was like no one for information or anything. There's no you cameras, no nothing, stuff. man. You know what I mean? Yeah, there was cameras, man. Like, you, Vegas is filled with cameras. Yeah, I know. Like they're in like potholes and everything. Trust me, I know. But the thing is, at least man, they were just riding their bikes in the biker shorts, man. Oh, look, go get them. We can get them. Yeah, but they could have just called for like helicopters or not something. They have like backup. Like what? Oh, what did you they? Oh, know, Remember, has a crew like chased the white Cadillac. Imagine yeah. they like never lost them. Oh man. The only reason they lost him was because, um, you know that guy Trayvon? Yeah, that was going after yeah. him. Like, they, his towers got shot out, so he couldn't really go after him. And it was only yeah, the, no. the only people who was left were the girls. But the thing is, how did they not see who the Those people were in the car? Like, how did they not no, see who was in the car? Security should have been to the side of Tupac. You know, yeah, yeah, the like each side, like, left, right, front, and back. I think something fishy about that head of security. What's his name? That guy who's like yeah, Reggie, right? Yeah, Reggie, right? That guy, man. There's something fishy about that guy. Yeah, yeah, I know because he they told him that night not to bring as much security. But I, I don't. Frank Alexander. He had Frank Alexander tell Reggie, right? I don't know. There's too many conspiracies, man. I don't, see, I don't see that guy condemn. I don't see that guy committing suicide, man. He looked too like like he too was that kind, man. He was He's too like, happy, yeah, man. He was like kind of happy. I don't know, he man. He wasn't happy, obviously, about the death, but, you know, he wasn't, like, looking like he was depressed or anything. Because it... No, when did he die? Um, like, 2013. 2013. I thought it was... 2000. Yeah, exactly. So he did an interview in, like, 2011. He looked yeah. like he was, like, uh, enjoying life and stuff. Exactly, man. I don't know. Like, get in the car. Wow. Hmm. That's something. There's too many holes in the situation, man.
Like a lot of people are not I don't like. Think we'll ever get to. The, we'll never know the truth. Man. Yeah, but here's the thing: the truth, I believe, is the the documentary truth. But uh, maybe, maybe. But I think there's some holes in that, man. There's, I think there's some holes. But the thing that. is, I still think the Crips, like those those exact Crips, like Orlando Anderson, I still think they did it. Like no matter who said told them to do it. I still think they did it at the end of the day. Whether it was their own decision or Puffy's decision, I think is they did it. Like we agree on that. At the end of the day, they all got theirs anyway. Yeah, yeah. They're all but, like either but dead who or knows? Who, who knows if Puffy actually actually did the hit though? But I don't know. But I do think the Crips did it though. But do you think that? Do you think that? Man, I don't think Puffy was a big gangster enough to do that, man. But I, I do you know. What I think I think that the Crips just did it by themselves. I don't think Puffy was involved. Maybe. Yeah, and then, then and it should make all Puffy. Yeah, yeah, man, I don't know, man. Puffy's so shady sometimes, man. But the thing is, Shugnay, I uh, definitely Shugnay did the Biggie thing, obviously. Biggie thing, and then I think I definitely think the Crips did yeah, the two-pack thing. Like we know that. Do you agree with Biggie like coming to LA and like just saying all those things like after they were dead? Yeah, so but I think that's. Do that, I, th I think that's why he was kind of you know m killed. Yeah, but he kind of he was doing stupid things. Like, he was saying things and all that. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. But I think Dalmo's dead, by the way. Dogs can't live that long. Oh, man. Dalmo's long gone, by the way. Or like, well, man, it's been like 20 years, man. Exactly, man. Like, dogs, like, you only live till like, they're 15. And the abuse should not put him through, man. And the abuse should not put him through. But where, where do you think he went after? Man? That's kind of sad, though, you know, Dalmo, man. You know, you're saying Dalmo. Dalmo? I always wanted to see Dalmo, man. Yeah, uh, you went to get his autograph and everything, didn't you? She got, you know. No, no, do, do you know what the funny thing was? Do you know that song, I wonder why they call you? Yeah, she, why was she yeah, singing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why was she singing in the background when the song's about her? What the heck? Yeah, no, that song's about Lil' Kim. No, that song's about her, man. Trust me, that's no, why that it's about... that song is about Lil' Kim. That song is about Lil' uh, Kim. Search it up, man. It's, a, it's about faith, man. Oh <laughs> Look at the sign. Look at it says, happy hour. Oh, that's a... Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait here, wait here. What are you doing? You're doing a selfie with it. Hold on, hold on. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> Take a selfie with it. It's a nice sign. <laughs> okay. Get in the shop, man. Get wait, in the shop. Come on. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on a second. I need to see what they have there. What food do you have there? What the heck happened to you? Yeah, look at the they food they have there. They got in the ball. ball. They, they got ball in the sausages. <laughs> they got a bar. <laughs> Oh, it's closed. Oh, like, happy hour. We got BBQ. Why yeah. can we? Why can we not go in this shop? Like, like V Ivy, you could do that. Alright, I'll pick you up. I'll, I'll pick you up later on. Yeah. Oh, look at that poster over there. Ah, oh, that that's such a sick poster, man. They got Elvis on there, and you got um. I forgot What's the that other. Hell? That's so sick. I never noticed that. Dude, I'm you, you look at that poster. Alright, go go straight. Why stop bro? Go straight, go straight, turn left. Right, turn left when you get out here. Oh bro, go straight, you're like you. Man, you just low, go, go, go back. Like this dumb move. <laughs> He's all happy, it looks like he didn't survive all those years. That actually is pretty sick. I didn't know this game had all this, like, are you, you don't notice it when you're like driving to the city, but when you like stop and look at it, hey, you, notice, you notice hey, it. Hey, do you wanna go sightseeing today? Let's go sightseeing, man. Come on, let's go sightseeing. Oh, sightseeing, man. It's dangerous here. Hold on. Like, we never actually noticed all this stuff. It's only afterwards. So, I'm gonna go down this alleyway. Let's see where all the movie theaters are. Is there parking over here now? Let's go see a movie. Oh, we're in Hollywood now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man, where is that? Mandy Cooper. No! No! Cry, cry! <laughs> no! No! No. I got I got the gun gun, I got the gun the gun. Oh my god. I got the gun the gun, I got the gun the gun. We screw this man. He's the thing man. We were not trying to like you know cause mayhem and all the that. wrong the wrong side. Where the heck are you? No wrong side, that's Where the heck are you, Park ah. Games? Where the heck are you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no no I'm not doing that. Ah! Oh! Hey, Two people always do your favorite. Um.
artist of all time, purely because of all the work he did, so much unreleased stuff to listen to, all the albums he put out, all the, you know, all the movies he put out. It was just crazy how he did that in the space of five years. I said that in my bullet 